while validators were required to update to the new network, Solana's revenue fell. Uh, several indicators predicted that SOL can drop as low as $155, and Solana has asked validators on the network to upgrade to the testnet v1.18.15. According to the announcement made known by Solana status, the upgrade would help decongest the network. And then also what's uh, on an audience, and, and, and some weeks back, uh, the blockchain experienced an outage that lasted four hours. So increasing demand for Sol caused the disruption. However, developers on the network made efforts to awaken the network, leading to an improvement in uptime. And despite that, Solana has not been working at a 100% capacity. Uh, as such, the eventually version 1.18.15 is expected to resolve and historically when the project resolves its congestion issues um, SOL's price tends to increase days later uh, at press time the price of SOL was $159.33 this was a 4% of SOL was 153 uh, furthermore AMB Crypto looked at the network activity according to data from Artemis daily active addresses on Solana were down to 1.4 million uh, on the 6th of June the figure was 1.9 million, indicating that about 500,000 market participants have stopped interacting with the network. And should the active addresses on the network continue to decrease, Sol's price might fail to rebound. However, if network activity improves, the price of the token could be looking at a rise toward $165. Uh, besides, the, uh, the decline in the interaction has affected revenue uh, and fees, right? Uh, at press time, Solana's revenue was much lower than what it was on the 5th of June. Apart from that, AMB Crypto also looked at Sol's volume. According to Santiment, the volume was $1.51 billion at the time of writing. Sandiment, um, and this was a decrease from the $3 billion volume in the, on the 7th of June, um, uh, volume uh, indicates interest and could serve as strength for the direction of the token. Um, and, uh, however, um, one thing we noticed was uh, that the volume had begun to increase. Uh, um, if the volume continues to increase while price falls, it means that there is more selling than buying. As such, this could give more strength to the downtrend and the price of SOL could fall further. Uh, should this be the case, um, SOL could slip to $155. Additionally, um, the open interest was another indicator supporting a price decrease. Um, OI shows the amount of contracts open in the market. Uh, when OI increases, it means that liquidity allocated to positions in the market had increased. However, a decline suggests the traders are closing their positions, leading to a drop in money flow. At press time, open interest in Solana was down to $2.19 billion. According to Poing Glass, uh, the decrease in OI was proof that net positioning had decreased. Uh, hence, it's unlikely for SOL to experience any major price increase. Uh, 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 however, in the days to come, uh, the value of the token might begin to move upward slowly. Uh, in addition, uh, Solana Foundation disclosed that it had removed Sun validators from to its delegation program. According to the foundations, the decision was necessary because these validators launched sandwich attacks against its users. Uh, for context, a sandwich attack is an exploit where an attacker puts two transactions around a victim's transaction to manipulate the price action and profit from the difference.